Um, how does a young Christian grapple with difficult doctrines to the glory of God? And if you want to talk about them, fine. Doctrine of hell, doctrine of predestination, election. <clears throat> Do you want to just go through the five points? I'm just joking. <laughs> I am convinced that when a person is truly changed by the Spirit of God, that that sheep of Christ will hear his voice and will find the scriptures to be their solid foundation. They will not be amongst those who are constantly questioning the scriptures, constantly looking for reasons to look outside of the scriptures for some other source of truth. The regenerate heart, the heart that has been changed by the Spirit of God, is a heart that loves God's Word, and just as Jesus did, will often be saying, the Scriptures say this, and the Scriptures say that. And so, when we encounter difficult teachings in those Scriptures, it tests our faith as to whether we are going to stand with Jesus, because Jesus believed that the Scriptures were God speaking. In fact, there's this special place in, in the Gospel of Matthew where Jesus is being t tested, and it's about the woman who, uh, who had seven husbands, and, and the Sadducees are challenging him about the resurrection. And sometimes we just go galloping right past this because we don't hear what Jesus said. He says to the Sadducees, he says, Have you not read what God spoke to you, saying, now think about that for a moment. Have you not read? Normally the next word is going to be something along the lines of what God wrote. Have you not read what God wrote? Or if I say, did you not hear what I said to you? That's not what Jesus says. He says, have you not read what God spoke to you saying, and then he quotes from words that were written 1400 years earlier. What that means is, the Lord Jesus viewed the scriptures, the written scriptures, as the very speech of God that remains the very speech of God in every generation. And Jesus' apostles had the same view. The apostle Paul describes scripture as that which is theonoustos, that which is God-breathed. It's like the breath that you feel as you speak. It's that intimate, it's that intimate to God, that it's his speaking. And as Peter said, Men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. A person who has that conviction may encounter a doctrine that is really challenging. It, it, it may be very hard to, to grasp hold of, and, and you may have reasons in your life to go, I, I just... But fundamentally, if you have that conviction, your final... your final word is always going to be, but what does the scripture say? Not what do I want to hear? Not what am I comfortable with? What do the scriptures teach? And I have seen so many people who came right up against a hard teaching and it offended them at first and they, they're, they're pushing back against it, but they had that commitment to the word of God. And because of that, once they realized what the word of God said, they embraced it. And because they embraced it, they had true peace. I think that, again, goes back to Spirit of God changes the heart of man. That's what regeneration is all about.